What's up everyone, Alex here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the different roles in Final Fantasy XIV. Roles determine the expectation of how a class or job is played in party situations, and I'll be going over their definitions in detail, as well as outlining which ones fall into each. I'll also be showing any starting classes for each job on screen, as well as any expansions required for play. For simplicity's sake, we will be using the term job to describe classes, and duties to collectively describe dungeons, raids, and trials in this video. This video's content is current as a Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers, and if there are any updates to this video, there will be a link shown right now or in the description. In Final Fantasy XIV, there are three roles, Tank, Healer, and DPS. In a nutshell, tanks are responsible for controlling the pacing and overall experience of a duty, a healer is responsible for the overall health and survival of the entire party, and DPS, or damage dealers, are responsible for defeating enemies by dealing the most amount of damage. Let's begin by diving into the tank role in a bit more detail. The tank role is considered as the pacemaker and the leader of the party. In other words, they'll be determining how many groups of enemies your party will face during a duty, they're also responsible for grabbing all of these enemies and making sure that they attack the tank and only the tank. A tank is also responsible for ensuring that enemy attacks don't face the party, as some enemies have cleave attacks that can damage multiple players that are facing them. Tanks have multiple ways to mitigate the amount of damage they'll be receiving, and this will vary depending on what job you choose. Successfully playing a job in a tank role means that you're able to lead the party through a duty smoothly, easing the healer's healing output by either properly utilizing damage mitigation abilities, or stunning or interrupting enemy attacks, and allowing DPS to focus on dealing massive amounts of damage to your enemies. The Paladin, Warrior, Dark Knight, and Gunbreaker are all the available tanks in the game. The healer role is responsible for ensuring that players' health is at a safe level and that status effects, such as poison, are removed from them. They can even revive fallen party members. A really good healer is not only nimble when it comes to dodging numerous enemy attacks, especially during boss battles, but also knows when it's the right time to cast spells. It's often debated in the Final Fantasy XIV community whether or not healers are expected to also deal damage, but I find from personal experience that while sticking to pure healing is a perfectly acceptable behavior, duties are slightly sped up when healers also deal damage. That said, if you're thinking about playing this role, take your time with it and get comfortable with the healing portion of the job before adding damage dealing to your repertoire. The White Mage, Scholar, and Astrologian are all the available healers in the game. Additionally, unlike White Mage, you cannot obtain Scholar when you create your character. You must level an Arcanist, a DPS class, to level 30 in order to get the ability to be a Scholar. The DPS role's sole purpose is to deal the most amount of damage to the enemies the tanks pulled. This is done via the mastery of one's rotation, an optimized order of action activation that's different for each DPS job. Final Fantasy XIV has an official subcategory underneath this role, further breaking down each DPS into their respective playstyles. The melee DPS role indicates that the job inflicts high damage at a close range by way of combos and attacking in specific positions to maximize their damage output. The monk, dragoon, Ninja, and Samurai are all considered melee DPS. Jobs that fall under the physical range DPS role allows players to be highly mobile while dealing damage to enemies from afar. They are experts at inflicting sustained damage, as well as providing support for the party. The Bard, Machinist, and Dancer are all considered range physical DPS. And last but certainly not least, the magical range DPS role utilizes magic spells that require casting time, which restricts movement. However, they inflict large amounts of burst damage as a result. The Black Mage, Summoner, and Red Mage are all considered ranged magical DPS. For new adventurers, I highly recommend selecting a DPS role to begin. This will allow you to be more aware of what's going on during duties, and give you a bit more confidence to try the other roles later. One of the best things about Final Fantasy XIV is being able to play any job you want on one character, so it's only natural for you to try out the other jobs later on. For now, what role seems appealing to you? 
and what job would you want to play? For longtime Final Fantasy XIV players, what would you recommend as new players' first jobs? What are your favorites? I'd love to read what you all have to say in the comments below. Also, feel free to ask questions about the game. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And finally, be sure to check out the description for any of the links I mentioned in this video, as well as a link to the free trial. Thanks for watching, and see you in Eorzea.